Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's an exciting day because we're going to be putting in push start into this car. I've been working on creating a complete plug and play push start kit for this car that's RFID. I know other people have created similar kits but this is a kit that I've created myself. Uh, I have made a few extras that are for friends as well as a couple for sale which I'll link in eBay. Um, I'll put it in the description below what my eBay is and if you guys are interested in one of these kits you guys could go there and purchase one. Uh, I'm not going to have a lot for sale. It's very limited because I make these myself and um, you know I've only got a limited amount. So if, it, if I get a lot of interest in these and it sells really well on eBay, maybe I'll create a few more. But today, I'm just going to go over the install with you guys. Alright guys, if you're interested in one of these kits, this is what it comes with. It comes with the obviously the push start brain module with two of these RFID chips. The RFID um, reader, a complete plug and play harness, as well as a push start button and a tap because you need to tap your um, your brake switch and a couple of zip ties. So this is basically everything that's going to come with the kit. So if you guys are interested, it's going to be complete plug and play created like this. I made these and they will be available on my eBay. All right, to start this whole installation is quite simple. You're going to remove this four pin connector from the fuse box as well disconnect the harness from here, the ignition harness that's clipped onto this here and unplug it. All right, now that that's unplugged, this harness is connected to your ignition switch, which is back here, which you'll remove later. Right now, this is free and now we're going to plug in the plug and play harness. All right, so here are the connectors from the plug and play harness. So you plug the four pin connector into the slot of the fuse box, push her in. This connector connects to this right here. So let's just go like that. Now you have a ground wire here. So bolt this to anywhere. I mean, I would bolt it up on top of the fuse box here because there's a lot of areas that you could bolt it. You could choose to ground it wherever you want to ground it. All right, so after this is all connected, here is your um, chip reader. So it's gonna already have this connection in here. You're gonna need to find the brake switch um, and tap into it with one of these and then plug it in. All right, so your brake switch is right over there. This white piece of thing right here. So find the green and white wire and in this loom and you're gonna use that um, wire tap and tap into it. All right, so once you've got the um, brake switch wire connected and all the plugs plugged in, you're gonna plug everything into the brain. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, as you can see, everything is now connected and it should work. So for you to operate this, it's easy. You just scan it and then now you can push the button and that's on accessory. How you could tell is I guess, radio comes on now so that's basically one click pushing this again turns it to on and then if you hit the brake switch and your clutch and then push the button your car should fire up so we're gonna do that so put it into neutral first Car is fired up. To stop it, hold down your brake and push the button. There you go, turned off. And the RFID will stay active for about 30 seconds, I think, after you scan it. So now we have basically um, RFID wired up and you just have to find a place where you want to mount your um, push to start button and, and also remove the um, ignition harness, which I'll show you guys how to do after. All right, so you guys probably noticed that I have a red push start button. I'm going to be running this push start button. Um, it is a optional button that I was able to rig up for this kit. Um, I don't have any of these additional for sale, but if you guys are interested, I can get them. So let me know it, it on Instagram or whatever. But this is what I'm gonna be running. I 3D printed this so that I could run one of these. Um, 
the stock switch that comes with it, this can go in here, this spot as well. You just have to remove the rubber ring from here. Most common place most people would probably prefer is to remove their cylinder and you know put it here. But I prefer to keep my cylinder because of the steering wheel lock. So I'm keeping the steering wheel lock so you'll still need a key to unlock the steering wheel then use the push start. So I'm going to show you guys how to remove your ignition harness now. All right, so to remove your ignition harness, first things first is just set your steering wheel all the way to the bottom like this. It just makes it easier. There is a little ring back here for this cover that you have to pry out. So pop this little ring. You see that metal ring in there? Pop that off. All right, so here's the ring. Um, so gently just pry it out with a flathead screwdriver or something, and then uh, slowly kind of pull it out. This does probably set off your horn if it touches any of those uh, metal parts in there. So make sure you disconnect your battery before doing any of this. Next, underneath here, there's a few um, screws. I think there's two, there's three underneath this cover here. So you're going to have to take these off. There's two right here and there's another one back there. So let's just do that and then we're going to pop the cover off. All right, so the screws are all off. So this thing's loose now. You have to be gentle to kind of disconnect the top and the bottom of these. Um, they are held on by some tabs to hold itself together. So be very careful. They do sometimes break. All right, here's the look at the cover. As you can see, there are tabs all the way around. So just be very careful when you open it because they do have a tendency to sometimes break and you know, this car is old, right? So they're hooked on as you can see. Now, the ignition is exposed. Now you can see the ignition switch. So there's a couple screws you have to remove. There's one on each side, one here and one on the other side that you have to remove and this will pop off as well as a screw right here that removes this piece here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, there you go. The ignition harness is out. Um, and all you have to do is just detach it from everything else because I have a whole bunch of stuff wrapped as well as my alarm out wires are connected to certain wires on the ignition harness. So I'm going to have to transfer those connections over to my um, push start button. If you plan on mounting it basically where the key lock cylinder is, you're going to have to remove this tamper proof cover and drill out or somehow hammer out and chisel out these bolts for the steering lock. There's two, one on the bottom, one on the top. So, you know, you could try to remove those and then your steering lock comes out and you can replace um, your button in here. So it does take a little bit of work, but it's not on there too tight. I'm not going to do it because I want to retain my steering lock. So this is the ignition harness here. So once you've already uh, disconnected it out of the car, this is what it's supposed to look like. There's two screws that hold this part in and the one screw that holds this part in. But that's your harness. All right guys, so everything is back together now. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to tuck it all. I hid the brain and everything. So now I, b I basically put the RFID thing right around here so that it's easier to scan. Now let's test it out. Fire it up. That looks pretty good. And shut off. Done. Alright guys, that's basically it for this install. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if you guys are interested, I do have a few kits that I've made up that I'm going to be selling in my eBay. So check that out. Anyways, if you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.